we have the finance office or department. They're burning up and they're not burning cash. They're burning up. They're schwitzing like momsers. <coughs> I got some Freon in my throat. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I am doing what I love to do and that is working on rooftop units. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six Ream rooftop units here in Inwood, New York. We are literally, JFK Airport is right there. There's the control tower and there's the Far Rockaway. We have the finance office or department. They're burning up and they're not burning cash. They're burning up. They're schwitzing like momsers. <coughs> I got some Freon in my throat. I believe it's this unit right here. She ain't cooling. I put my ear up to it. You can hear the blower. And we had a little piece of tape on one of the diffusers, supply diffusers inside the finance office department. It's flapping around, so we got airflow. Let's see why she's not coming on. All right, so I removed the access cover, right? And I took the yellow wire, which is Y1, for cooling, and I put it onto my red wire. You can tell we've been here before, we're using the Wago two conductor wire connectors. This is the 221s. They're awesome. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Uh, but as soon as I took the yellow to red, I have uh, my compressors kicked on, condenser fan motor kicked on. And uh, if I were to cover this back up, because this is gonna interfere with our operation, if I cover that back up like that, we have hot air being discharged from the top of the condenser fan motor. So it looks like we have a failure to communicate from the point of the thermostat to the point of our wires on our rooftop RTU. All right, so we have another problem. The problem is, is that this is the only unit that I thought the blower was on, but this unit also is on. Um, my ladder is right next to that electrical mast. You don't see it because it's a little short. Yeah, you guys are gonna rip me a new one for taking safety and throwing it out the window. Uh, but there's my ladder. See it? See, I know you see it. See, we're not that high up, see? So there's the ladder. Um, I walked in a compartment, a corridor here, and then we turned here, and it may be this one. Maybe this one, because this one's blowing. You can hear it. It could be this one. So before I go down there and confirm, let's check this one out. All right, so this other one here, I jumped out Y terminal, it's doing the same thing, it's working. Um, by the way, if you're ever on a rooftop and you see shells on a roof like this, all right? And you wonder, what the hell, Mikey Pice? What are you having, a clam bake up here? No, it's those damn carrier pigeons. <laughs> they grab those seagulls, they grab the shells from the beach and they eat them up here. Far away, look, there's a whole bunch of them over there as well. <laughs> yep. All right, we have to go downstairs and uh, see what's going on with the uh, thermostats. However, as much as I love working on rooftop units because of its simplicity and everything that you need is on the roof, sometimes it's not. In this particular case, it took me a half an hour, more like 20 minutes, before I realized that it wasn't these two units that were the culprit. It was this one. And I found they had a Honeywell Prestige um, 
wireless though powered 9000 series thermostat on the wall so it's getting r and c only and above the drop ceiling a few feet away uh there was the eim the equipment uh, interface module and now we're here uh, with my testo 557 and let me show you what to read system is off 110 high and low pressure equals temperature you know it's not 36 degrees nope and i took a sharpie and wrote finance office on this unit so no one else gets confused we need refrigerant we have this stupid micro channel coil all right you know it leaks probably in there and uh looks like we're gonna be gassing and going you know oh shit almost busted my ass all right, let's get them up and running. All right, charging for liquid, R410A. I already purged out all the air out of my hoses. I got my uh, scale set to zero. <sighs> Help if I close that one. Let's charge up the system with whatever's remaining in this tank. Okay. The charge, factory charge, 63 ounces for this five ton, 60,000 BTU, five ton RTU. So 63 ounces divided by 16 at most, four pounds at most. But we had some charge in there. So I'm gonna guess this guy's gonna get three pounds. 2.6 right now. Top off the rest of this can. Stop at three. System is off. I don't. I don't have no objections to rapidly charging like this. All right, we're almost at three pounds. Let's go to three. Get out of here, B. Two point nine. Oh, come on. <laughs> don't mess with me. Come on. Go to three. Go to three. side let's close the low side still not going to three we're gonna get this to go to three once i restore power to disconnect and the system fires up the lower pressure on the low side will suck in because you know the pressure is greater than is less um sorry the, the the low side pressure is gonna be lower than 189 psi so we'll be able to suck out more refrigerant out of this basically empty 410A um, jug. And that will be good. All right, just restored power. Waiting for that Honeywell thermostat to uh, get done doing what it's gotta do. And uh, we'll suck out the remaining refrigerant that we need here to get the three pounds. And we're still 2.9. And I know what some of you are gonna be saying, Mikey Pipes, you know, um, I could find that leak. I could fix it. I'll be done before lunch. Well, it's uh, 105. I don't know if you can see that in the watch. It's 105. Wow, the sun is that bad here. Huh? There it is. 105. So if you're talking about lunch tomorrow, because today's lunch is over with, then maybe, or maybe next week, next month, next year lunch. But please, Comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what you would do with this micro channel coil. Tell me you would fix it. I know you would. I know. It's fine. It's okay. I don't know if you noticed, but everyone got a pardon. There was dozens upon dozens of people that managed to get themselves blocked from commenting on the Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor YouTube channel. And just the other day, everyone got amnesty everyone i pardon every single person especially rj herber he kept emailing me he's like a nag he's like mikey pyre you know what you should do unblock everyone and let's see let's see if a second chance is not going to waste 
By the way, my iPhone 15 died. The battery's dead, so now I'm using my iPhone 15. Sorry, my iPhone 11 died, so now I'm using my iPhone 15 Pro. I don't know if you see a difference in video quality, but uh, it looks pretty sharp in my display. <sighs> I'm gonna have to wait. I don't like waiting. I'm very impatient. An unusually long delay for startup. Wow. It is 13 after 1 here in the afternoon on Wednesday. Hump day. May 8th, 2024. We're going to let this thing sit for a little bit. I want to just go to 3 pounds. So let me just uh, open that up a little bit and go to 3 pounds. There you go. Oh, 3.1. Ah! <laughs> um... All right, let's let, let this sit for a good five, ten minutes and then make sure that we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Looking at a very uh, darkish spot there. With some residue, oil residue. Uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be shocked if we have a, a leak right there. And it feels cold there too, by the way. It's warm there, that's cold. bottom of the coil is cold. The top is hot. All right, about five minutes later. Sorry, guys. Yep. Pressure is stable. We're 112 and 275. Indoor temperature 73 degrees. Discharging at 92. I'd like to see this a little bit higher, but it is what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, you got a rooftop unit like one of these, give me a call, 516-348-6300, or email me, mike at pipedoc.net. We're based in Woodmere, New York, which is in Nassau County, right by JFK Airport. It's right behind me right there. I would love to help you. We offer great, responsive, same-day service. Give me a call, 516-348-6300. And if you're in the Central Florida, Orlando area, Pipe Doctor Home Services of Central Florida can help you there too. You can call me at 407-375-1100. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.